Image quality. Of course, the image quality is going to be better in digital. Jerry, what I will do? You come up here. Jerry, you come up here. Yes. Now you stay there like that. All right. Now you stay there. Now don't move. Don't move. Be careful. You've got to be quick. You've got to be quick, Jerry. Wait, wait, wait. Jerry. Jerry, look. Jerry. Joya. Jerry. Do one more. Jerry. Jerry. Sandro. <laughs> Got him. Had to waste two rolls of film for that, though. I hope they turned out good, Jerry. Anyway, film's not that expensive, Jerry. It's just a, it's a hassle and a pain in the ass to get developed. That's another thing with film. Sure, it's a pain in the ass, and it is because you've got to develop the bloody thing. Anyway, it's not that hard. Bloody hot. Hey, Jerry, it's too hot. Okay, suck the gut in, Jerry. Image quality. Where was I? I was talking about image quality. Jerry, we are talking about image quality. Now, obviously, uh, digital is uh, way better image quality, but there's something about film that people are drawn back to, that look of film. There's people, they try, even, even Fuji try and do film simulations. People love them. What some people are kind of saying, this is what I'm taking it as, is that the image quality on digital is too good so they want to revert back to analog film so photos are, are, are too too good too sharp too saturated um, you know it's got that edge to it whereas film analog film has that roundness to it you could say it's almost like voluptuous <laughs> you know a bit like me voluptuous <laughs> but yeah it's got that look to it that it's soft around the edges. Yeah, that's that's the word. That's the word for it. Voluptuous <laughs> or soft around the edges. You know, I mean, that's why even some people put that pro mist. What is it? Pro mist filters on their film. Even that Casey uh, cons case, uh, conspiracies. That's why he likes Fuji because Fuji has that that look to it, you know, that cinematic or not cinematic, what's the word? It's not digitally sharp, it's not hard-edged digital in your face Sony. <laughs> you know, it's Fuji, it's it's round and voluptuous and it's has that uh I don't know, Jerry, help me out with the words. What are some of the words I can say? Yeah, I wrote I wrote some stuff down. It's uh Compared to the cold, hard, and stiffness. That's what she said. <laughs> Did I actually write that? To take away that edgeness from that harshness from the digital look. I mean, obviously in digital, you can still attain that because it's digital. You can do whatever you want with it in post. But yeah, with analog, it's already there with our film. It's already got that roundness, you know, those little, what do you call it, silicon, chemicals inside there you know they're bubbling away and they're they're just right you know they, they figured it out they had like what a hundred years of mastering it so testing testing one Jerry is that enough uh, waffling let's move let's keep going let's keep going boring no don't waste the film Jerry bloody winter middle of winter and it's so hot what the hell Australia I don't understand it's like 25 degrees yes last night it was like one this way you see the doggy Jerry the doggy yes Jerry poodle yeah, the uh, rangefinders are good. I mean, obviously Leica had all the rangefinders sorted out. 
um, back in the day and they're the leaders, but there are other cameras. Who the hell can afford a Leica? Hey, Jerry. Uh, I don't know why the hell. Everyone raves on about them. I guess I wouldn't know until I had one in my hand and shot one. So film isn't for everyone. If you can get a film, that camera that's modern, you know, like I've got the Canon 500N and that's modern, that's a modern film camera. And that's, um, you know, you don't have to, this is just me having a bit of fun and getting a bit nostalgic, but this camera can actually do everything. It's got manual settings and everything. You can pick whatever you want. It's just fun, you know, it's, it's a fun thing to do. It um, gets you thinking and <clears throat> and yeah, you can use, um, there are modern cameras out there, um, obviously shooting, you know, that, that take batteries, that, there are modern cameras, I mean, I think even Leica still make film cameras, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, it's a good hobby too, I like collecting them, that's one thing, you know, it's, uh, they're so cheap, or they used to be cheap, now, I'm telling you now, you know, things that you could get for $5 at a thrift store. <laughs> There's a YouTuber who keeps saying that, I think, grainy, grainy days, I can't, he keeps saying, I got it for $5 at a thrift shop. <laughs> yeah, he's a funny guy, he's very dry. Uh, grainy days, I can't remember his name, but he's quite funny. He's right film, he's, the whole channel's film. So if you want to go subscribe to him, he knows more about film than me, obviously. Bath ready for the bump, Jerry. Yeah, I got a mono bath. What it is is just one chemical, um, and you chuck it in at room temperature, so that's going to be fun. Overall, uh, other than all the hipster blah blah blah, all that bullshit that I was saying, it's just fun. That's all there is to it. Hey, Jerry, it's just a fun thing to do. It can be a pain in the ass, you know, fiddling around with everything and developing and all that shit, but that's the whole point of it. The whole point of it is because it's hard. <laughs> Jerry, what are you sitting like a princess? Huh? Are you sitting like a princess, Jerry? Ah, <laughs> oh, Jerry, you little cheeky girl. Oi. Why oh, are you looking? Yes, you're tired, I know, Jerry. Two big walks today. All right, Jerry, we go home. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I've come to Parramatta to try it out with some street photography and you would not believe it. I don't know what the hell happened. It's not working anymore. <laughs> the uh, automatic's not working. So lucky, with the Olympus, the good old Olympus 35 RC rangefinder camera, you can override it with the manual. So for some reason the aperture ring has got really stuck anyway. I budged it, but it's not, when you put it in automatic mode, it's not working. So I don't know what the hell happened. Anyway, and I haven't got my meter with me, so it's basics of basics of basics. We're going back to the basics. Sunny 16. <laughs> so today's pretty sunny. So at F16, I've got ISO 200. What the hell is that? 1 over 250 speed at F16. Alright. <laughs> lucky. Lucky it's manual. Otherwise, uh, halfway through the film and can't do anything with it. That little bloody red flag that you get on trip 35. Okay, so a few rookie mistakes. Haven't done this for a while. <laughs> I'm so stupid, man. I've, it's only when I discovered. It's only when I was shooting in manual, and I had to use the Sunny 16 rule that I bloody just noticed that the ISO was on two stops under what? The, it was on one. What's that? One. 
There was two stops under what it's supposed to be. I forgot to I forgot to set the bloody ISO to 200. So that's what the film is. The film I got 200 Kodak Gold 200 in here, and I forgot to set the ISO when I loaded it. So they all those shots at the reservoir. That's 14, 16 shots. What's that? Two stops under. <laughs> Anyway, I hope they turned out alright. I don't know what the hell's happened anyway, so it's... That's only when I realised, what the hell? I've got to match the ISO. Oh shit, I'm on, I'm on the wrong ISO and have been all bloody day. Rookie mistake. Like I said, film, you've got to put your thinking cap on. Because uh, I'm just so used to digital going out and, and assuming that everything will work. Or if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, it's digital. Just take, it, take the shot again. Alright, let's just, uh, I've got four shots left, let's see what I can do with them.